Up the garden, leaving the dollar store. Going back to the house. Got us a little few things to do. Had us something for dinner anyway. But anyway, like I was talking on the other video, I, out there I used to farm years ago out there. Grew up right here around. I grew up in a little town called Elk. But that's that house. We moved to Forest anyway after wife and I got married and all that. But it was a little old wooden house. Well, it was a wooden house sitting there. And that's where I first seen my wife. We got married and I went on back to the army. But anyway, there's the, that's the water treatment plant. And they proud of their forest bulldogs, as you can see on that sign right there. Forest bulldog. I think I'm gonna go on up, go on up through town. Since we done seen south end of Peach Street. Somebody trying to go around me now. 45. People get aggravated, they don't have patience no more. Everybody just say, everybody, everybody ready to go, gotta go, gotta go now. Well, anyway, we're coming up on Forest, a little country town. And all the way, there's a car behind me wanting to get around, so I've had to go pretty fast, but I fixed it. Stop up here, we're gonna reminisce a little bit of that Forest, Louisiana. Up here on the right in the feed store. That's the feed store right there. As you can see, I'm on the wrong side again. They got all kind of good stuff up in there. Feed and seed and everything else you need. Look at this sweet potato plant. They growing every which way. I think they were uh, oriental though. They got him a little greenhouse there. He sells plant. And there's the uh, forest country store. No, a country place now. It used to be a store. Now it's a restaurant. It's old, old fashioned. Been there a long time. I remember when it was a, it was a grocery store. And that's the old feed store right there. And that is one old building right there. It's a long way down there. They got it all boarded up. I'm gonna stop and get out in just a minute. There's old Jen over there. That's where I worked there at one time running the sucker pipe. You talk about some work. That was some work. What all them big old marginal bales that cotton? Found a work for. That's the old store building. Grain bins over there. It's just not a whole lot to look at in Forest, Louisiana, other than that old house. If that old house could talk, man, it'd have a lot to say, wouldn't it? And it's still standing. That thing's been there, I bet you, Lord, I don't know how many years. I know at least uh, 60 or 70, because I'm 70. Seems like I remember coming through here and seeing that store right there at the time, if they're going to Oak Road. I guess nobody lives there no more. That's the post office. 
This is Highway 17 going straight through forest. There's forest high school down there. We're gonna ride around and we're gonna take a we're gonna video this gin a little bit. We don't hardly ever see gins anymore. <laughs> they about tear them all, tear, pull them all down. And I don't think of, except for the big ones are still in operation. Man, there's some traffic on this road today. You just not hardly nobody, you know. I guess everybody going to church and coming out of church, I reckon. But it's sure. Right All right, we're gonna go down here now. Get a picture of that genius. See, right there on the end, that's where they used to come out with the bale. Right there, right of that car, and then right there where the car was sitting, they had the old cotton, the cotton seed would come out there on the chute. See that chute right there? It'd come out. And it was just a small gym back in the day. I thought that thing was humongous. And it had a pipe right there, a sucker pipe. You pull that trailer up in there, put that pipe in it, and then suck the pipe, cotton up and go in there, and it would take the seeds out of it. And they call it Jenny. Old 1486. They got a cab on it now. A cab tractor. Not old scrap iron on that trailer. There's old backhoe sitting out there. Just riding down, going to Peach Street again. This will be the, I call it the north end. It goes north and then it goes back east. But it's for good friendly people is in this neighborhood around. Dog. I don't know if you can see it or not, because, but I'll try to get a picture of it. That's a sawmill over there. Lumber mill, whatever you want to call it, they make. See over there, it's big logs and all that in the distance. They put them logs in there and cut them up and make, them lumber, make it into lumber. It's amazing. That's where the man over, I used to work for right there that owned that, owned that gin. I think he's passed away now. Fine fellow to work for, I really liked him. That basketball coach lives there. She, uh, she was a coach over with one of my grandsons. car, <laughs> that trailer, the man back there got a bunch of dogs, he raises dogs, I really don't know what kind, but I hear them barking all the time, and right there is where my wife's mother used to live before she passed away, and her husband moved up north after she passed away, and there's a lot of memories up in that trailer. Christmas dinners and stuff like that. And there's a, that's Plum Street right there. You go down that road right there. 
They call that Plum Street. And now we back at my house again. Pop in the Gardens establishment. We moved in there, there ain't wasn't nothing. There ain't wasn't a tree. There was nothing. We moved in there. And now everything's so big. My son the other day was talking about that big old oak tree right there. He said, Daddy, I remember that thing wasn't big as your arm. And it's just, it got to be humongous now. I said, yeah. Over the years, that's kind of like me. I get a little bit bigger every year, seems like. The less I eat, seems like the more weight I gain. I had to cut that limb out of that tree back there. I have my swimming pool I got to fill up. Up in the garden, signing off, and hope y'all have a blessed Sunday. Or every what day you watch this video, I hope it's blessed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, please. It would be such a blessing to me, and I, I enjoy hearing people talk about my video and tell me how they feel about it and all that. I, I really enjoy that. So, this is Papa the Garden signing off.